Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 11th, 2021. So today we have Lapita Light, Recall Your Dreams, and Malachite, it's time to transform. So there are messages coming through for us and of course during the dream state, this is where you're the most open. Be careful with this because I feel like there's a lot of stuff coming up to be healed. So yeah, they're saying be careful with setting your intention before you go to sleep. So, for example, Malachi is intense healing. Uh, I actually understand that if you carry this, like, into a business meeting, you might end up saying something you will regret later on. <laughs> because especially, like, for example, in a business meeting, maybe you've been holding back in the business place and then part of the healing is just saying your truth. It can do that, okay? So just be careful with that. <laughs> but because of what... You might need to work on if you set your intention to heal all your trauma right while you sleep you're gonna have bad dreams you're gonna have really awful things coming up remember these videos are not a replacement for therapy or medical advice please consult with a mental health care practitioner especially if you are dealing with trauma or a mood disorder or anything of the sort or if you are having physical symptoms make sure you see a doctor okay don't mess around with that stuff this is to help you kind of understand where the energetic uh, origin <laughs> maybe could be, all right? Not a replacement for therapy. Recall your dreams. So when you're going to sleep at night, you can do a clearing meditation. You can go to sleep to a meditation, but make sure you're setting your intention. Help me understand. And a lot of us choose things that are very surface level, and I understand that 100%. But maybe we can start setting the intention of understanding how we can access our consciousness and how can we contribute a light by bringing forward our own light. This will be a gentler way of having, you know, some realizations hit you. It won't come all at once. It won't be this like tsunami of information, all right? So just be aware of that. And a lot of us are transforming, but we're transforming not in, a, did I say this already a hundred times? Let me say it 101 times. It's not in a surface level way. We need to stop this thing where we're defining our ascension process, our awakening by how successful we are out in the world, right? Or how many followers do I have? How popular am I? Recent information on YouTube, subscriber count doesn't matter as much as it once did. And the way they're functioning right now is quite different. So keep up with that. <laughs> there you go. So it's not just about, as I said, these surface level things, feeling popular, feeling like that is validating your worth. But transforming on such a deep deep level that you are allowing love in you are now I'm not talking romantic love I'm talking divine love you're allowing yourself to be reset and doing this clearing that's what this helps with too and clearing away some of that pollution these are the cabochons <laughs> getting those going here and of course Malachite with Archangel Raphael that's your focus for today it's it, you notice a lot of this stuff has been very, very much around the heart and what the heart wants. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Archangel Shamuel and there's Raphael. Pops up a lot. And Jophiel, beauty, love, grace, harmony, fullest potential, love, but finding love through self-love first. Okay, and Raphael is all about soulmates. But when we say soulmates, soulmates can be a real pain. <laughs> they come in and they teach you some of the hardest lessons. I look back on people who I would never want to refer to them as soulmates because maybe they were abusive or whatever. But in a way, just their presence and what they taught me brought me through. I know. I don't want to give them credit for that. But if we're talking on a soul level, <laughs> that's usually a facilitator for healing. Just get through your lessons, you know, pay attention, get through them so that you can move on from it. Yeah, we have hiding. Mm -hmm. Truth. Oh, gosh, this is the truth coming out. And it's very, very healing. And it helps us reconnect in with our beauty, love and grace and our fullest potential. And then I want to put these over here. 
Look at that. Isn't that fun? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, they hold still, I think, if I put them in between the cards. There we go. So this thing that you feel, perhaps, that has eluded you, yes? Um, this calling. I know there's something there. I feel this pulsation of like I should be doing something. I should be going somewhere. I should be showing up in a different way. Whatever it is for you, there's clarity that's coming. But I can assure you this is not going to be ego satisfying. And if you try to twist it so that it is, you're going to be in trouble. Okay. You probably, if you watch my videos, you've heard me use this example. But back in the good 2012 era, oh yes, we're going back there. Uh, I was having all these angel experiences and it was wild and it was so fascinating to me. And I asked uh, Archangel Gabriel, because Gabriel was being a presence there, if this sounds weird to you, it won't in the coming years. Hi, welcome. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I remember I got this message that I would be writing three books and I got all excited because all I wanted was a calling. I wanted a career. I wanted to feel like I was being this creative force in the world. Ba, 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 all ego stuff. And I took the message of I was going to write three books. And I twisted that in my brain that I would be an author. That I would be a published author. And as I went on that process, I found it was one challenge. Just a lot. You know, sometimes there are blocks in our way. So this thing I want, I want to get my work out there because isn't that what's going to define me? Isn't that what makes me a success? And it just wasn't happening, wasn't happening, wasn't happening. And finally I come back to Archangel Gabriel and I'm like, what was that all about? And the message was, I gave you the message that you would write three books. I never said there would be a process of publishing them necessarily. And I have written three books. And every single one of them uh, was, when I go back and look at them, it was some stage of my life that I was trying to heal or to come to terms with. And that is what those three books did. They helped me understand where I needed to come through. So that's what I'm saying. Like we want to be careful, especially when we're recalling our dreams, we might try to put some deeper meaning on it or whatever, but this thing that's hiding, if you, if it comes up and you're trying to twist it into a surface level success, it might very well backfire on you. That, you know, example of me twisting my message really held me up. It held me up from starting my own business. I was in an abusive environment. I kept going mostly because I felt very connected to someone um, in that environment, I felt like I was learning a lot from that soul and, um, you know, cared very much. There were a lot of people there that I did care about and I hung on for that, but I was also hanging on cause I thought, well, this is my day job and this is just until I can get my books done and published. And then somehow I'll just be rich. I don't know where I got that from. Like, boom, it's just going to be a New York times bestseller. <laughs> okay. You know, whatever. But that's not the reality for most writers. And if you're a writer, you know that <laughs> even if you get your book published or you get it put out there or whatever, it doesn't guarantee that you're always going to make like a ton of money off of it. Right? So that held me up from moving on to something that I could create for myself and, you know, being a sole proprietor and, um, feeling a little more, I wanted human connection and I wanted to contribute and I don't know. I think I called card readings my party trick at one point. <laughs> it was something I did. Um, people seem to enjoy it. They seem to get a lot of help from it. And I'm offering this example for good reason. So hang with me here. If you feel like this is getting a little long-winded, check your ego. Okay, check your ego. Are you just too used to being overstimulated by messages bombarding you? Relax in. Sit with me for a moment here. We're going somewhere with this. <laughs> so I figured I could take this thing that seemed to help people. There were, there was a reading, well, actually there were a few readings where people would break down into tears because something that was coming up, some energy that was coming up was helping them have a deep revelation. They're the ones doing the work, not me. I'm just the facilitator. So if you come, any kind of reading that you get, you have to come with an open heart and an open mind and be willing to receive the message. If you're open, then you're the one doing all the work. 
right? So I took this and I'm like, well, maybe, maybe this will be a way that I can contribute, connect with people and see if it's helpful. That was eight years ago and I'm still doing this. So that's the kind of thing that we're talking about here. You don't want to hold yourself up through an ego contortion of whatever message is coming through from your guardian angels, from an archangel, what have you. All right. So just be careful with that. And we're going to leave it there. So I'm <laughs> sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.